Uh, hi, Ms. Romanenko Hanks High School with Chemistry. Uh, today we're going to learn how to count atoms in the chemical formulas. So there is two things, two type of numbers that you need to know. First one is this one. This number is called the subscript. Okay. Subscripts only belongs to the number there next to. So if I would want to count this, I have K, which is potassium. I have three of those. Next atom is phosphorus, P doesn't have anything, it means it has one. And oxygen, since I have a subscript of four, I have four oxygens over here. Okay, next. Uh, sometimes you're gonna get uh, numbers in parentheses. So if I would take this in parentheses and there is another two, it's also a subscript, but this is what happens here. The number outside the parentheses distributes the same way it does in your algebra class. So this two will go with oxygen and with phosphorus only because they're in parentheses. So in this case, K stays the same. For phosphorus, instead of one, I'm going to put times two. And for my oxygen, I already had four, now I have two, so four times two is gonna be eight. Uh, last case, sometimes you're gonna get a big number in front of the equation and this number is called a coefficient. Okay, this is the coefficient. Unlike subscript, coefficient distributes to every single number in the formula. So here, here, and right here. So now let's recount atoms. I had three Ks. Because of this four, I'm gonna put three times four. My answer is 12. Now, my next one, P, P was in parentheses, so this is in parentheses. Now I have to multiply by four. Okay, so one times two is two, two times four is eight. My last one is oxygen. I have this. I have to bring up the coefficient, so I put times four. Now let's do the math here. Four times two is eight. I'll show you here so you understand it better. So eight and eight times four is 32. So 32 is my final answer. That's how you count atoms. Make sure you remember that coefficient is the number that distributes to every single one of them. Subscript belongs to the element. If subscript is outside the parentheses, make sure to distribute it to every single atom inside the parentheses. And last hint, you always multiply and you never 